Let's go. Out of uh, Leon Billiards. And they Anthony's in the uh, winner side. Jimmy the one lost side. Jimmy has to beat Anthony twice in the race to seven. We have Glenn McMahon referee. Stuff. 250 sit-ups, just intimidating. You're ready to rock and roll. I'll do five push-ups. Here, here's how you start off push-ups. Because he breaks both wrists. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Good luck. We get started here. Anthony won the lag, so he's going to start some first break. This will be a race to seven. Like this, Standard, Standard nine ball. Rules apply. Push out after the break. Three consecutive fouls. Loss of game. We do have one stipulation. The nine ball does not count for the win if it is made in the bottom two corner pockets. That happens to our high school quarterback. Nothing on the break for Anthony. Okay. Jimmy does not have a clear shot at the one ball. He's got the option of pushing out. Push. Yeah. Got a question in the chat room from behind about uh, slate being uh, sectioned. It is sectioned. There's a. It's three, three pieces. pieces. Not one single slate. I couldn't imagine getting that upstairs. It would be. <laughs> talk about the, <laughs> the slate's but pretty heavy. Yeah. Three pieces. And we'll, once we put it on, we uh, we block sanded it all the way down to make it as level as we could get it. We mm -hmm. had six machinist levels on there working our way around. By Jimmy. Yeah, it was. Uh, Anthony's got a hard kick shot at the one. I guess he can hit the bottom round going to it. Yep. Ball in hand. Ball in hand? I don't think Glenn saw that, but there was a foul. See what he thinking. I guess he's going for the nine ball on this shot here. Mm, that's a tough shot. From that man, mm -hmm. It is, but uh, why not? Right? Yeah, right now I think you, you got to go for this one. Okay, he's on the board first. One nothing. Race to seven.
Got another question in the chat room. What is Jimmy's nickname? It is Jazz. I think that was given to him by uh, Bob. No, he knows. Yeah. Well, if you go back far enough, it's just his initials, J A S, but we call him uh, J A Z Z. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> He's got a shot here on this one, too. Thanks for the compliment, Flipman. We appreciate you tuning in and watching. And if anybody is interested in signing up for some future events, there's some uh, contact information on the front page. Get a hold of Gary and uh, he'll set you up. And if you're interested in a ch challenge match, uh, it might be doable. Oh, yeah hold of Gary and uh, let him know what uh, you're thinking about doing. That's a good shot there. He got straight in on that five ball. Good speed control there. Seven ball. Extension. Looks like he's going to draw back. Figured if he goes full table in and back up, Let's see what he does. Left himself tough on the seven. <coughs> Another question in the chat room. Do you know when the next Fate of the Eight will be? I'm not sure exactly, but uh, probably uh, set something up within a month, yeah. I imagine. Well, we've got, uh, <coughs> I believe there's a tournament coming up down south that a lot of the guys are going to play in. So. Probably not before the 30th. Extension. But if you check out our website, <coughs> we'll keep you posted. <coughs> All right, Jimmy, going to jump here to try and make this seven in the side, I'm sure. Left it, left tough. it tough. Yeah, yeah. That's not easy. That's a hard shot, right that's there. That's a hard shot. Let's see whether Anthony goes for it, or I think he'll go for it. Oh, today, we'll leave him. 
Now well, I got a hook behind the eight ball. Yeah, it came out pretty nice for him. After a missing there. Yeah. Okay, two to nothing in the race to seven. <coughs> You're watching Extreme Pool Challenge. I'm Rick Heffelfinger alongside Gary Patrick, and this is Fate of the Night number six. And we're streaming live from Cocoa Beach, Florida. Game three, Jimmy Sandler break. Oh, yeah. Went for a shot. Mm -hmm. That was a tough shot with them tight pockets and having to come off the rail a little bit. Set Jimmy up pretty nice, this kick shot. Too soon. Yeah, here, well, here's a good chance for Anthony to play safe. Yeah. Well, viewer uh, 425, we appreciate the good feedback. Thanks for tuning in and watching. And all the people out there in the chat room and people online, we do appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. There's a good safe. It's going to be hard to hit. Too. Yes, it is. Once he gets, he's got to get on the two ball. Yeah. He's got a clear path to the bottom rail mm -hmm. here. He's coming through a little, a little too tight. much. He's, yeah. yeah. He's going to be all right then. 
Wow. That's a little closer than he wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah. Way that, close. That yeah. three ball. Now yeah, he's got to just back up a little bit, maybe. Take another long oh, shot. Yeah. He could just drop back. A, a I think he's, he's, he's got a little angle here. Okay, so he can oh. get down there then. <laughs> Not a bad shot. No, he came out pretty good. Mm -hmm. There, shotgun. We appreciate it. Oh man, Anthony didn't come over enough for the seven ball. No, he got up a little. When he was yeah, now he's got a tougher shot here. Yeah, he he's does. got a back cut here on the seven. <sighs> he needs to get on the board. Yeah, he keeps leaving himself tough shots. Of course, of course, Jimmy does have to beat him twice. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to rest on your laurels. Making it tough on him. Yeah, yeah this it's, is uh, not easy. No, this is this is a tough one here. Yeah, but he's one he, tough shot to the next. I mean, you get out of line just a little he bit. He might play safe. I don't know. Uh, he's looking at it like he's going to go for it. Probably figures he's got to get out. Well, he wants a win badly. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not take your extension? Nice good catch, shot. Uh, man, he just fired that right in there. Yeah, he, <laughs> he said, oh, I only got six seconds left. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, no time to screw it up. Down the chute. Okay, just to get on the board. All right. Uh, all right. Two to one. <coughs> yeah, Anthony is a good player. They're all good players. <laughs> A tough tournament. <coughs> One, Jimmy Sandler. <coughs> Race the seven. <coughs> Jimmy wins it. They got to play it again. If Anthony wins it, it's over. It's over. This is a true double elimination tournament. So give me the money, I'm going yeah. home. Uh -huh. <laughs> Crushed the break. Hey, he does. He's got a powerful break. Unfortunately, he, you know, tonight he hasn't been making balls on the break, yeah. though. So yeah, not, he didn't give away anything. No, got a lot of movement on uh, his breaks. But yeah. Uh, yeah, in this particular case, uh, Jimmy doesn't have a shot at the one. Nope. He can hit it, but, you know, he might be just as well off the push. Mm hmm. Might push that nine right into the corner pocket. Might be a good decision. He's going to do something with a two ball. Looks like. No. What's he doing? Eh, not like that. <coughs> See what happens. It worked out for me. All right, let's see what Jimmy does here. Oh, 
he got away with that. Wow. Got away with it. He got up on that shot a little bit. Pretty sure. That's a tough one for Anthony to hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. He's he, gotta, he got away with that. It's like he's looking at hitting the side rail with some left-hand spin, reverse it, and then rail kick. Yeah, just miss the four ball ball in hand. Yep. Couple good rolls. <laughs> yeah, he is. It's his night. All right, Anthony, got to jump it. I expect him to make the jump and the hit, but I don't know what he'll get. Jump shot. That wow. was pretty good. That was good. <laughs> Gotta shoot this five in the side. Yeah. yeah. Still, those side pockets are not easy. Those no, are four and a half inches wide, so anybody out there just tuning in. Four and a half inch pockets all the way around, and you can see. You overcut that, yeah, you overcut it, but yeah. still, you know, they're pretty tight. They, they, uh, they, they make the guys miss, you know. Yeah, Jimmy with a good opportunity to put another game under his belt. There by Jimmy, <coughs> three to one now in a race to seven. A lot of activity in the chat room. Thanks, guys, for uh, being in the chat room, too. I'd like to thank our sponsors again Simona's Cloth, the truest plain cloth out there have them as a sponsor. Both of our tables are covered with 860 Tournament Blue HR Series Cloth. And the tables were restored by Mark Gregory of Perfect Pockets of Atlanta, Georgia. You can look him up on the web, perfectpocketswithaz.com, or give him a call at 770-548-4292 if you're in the market for any table 
work. Also has a Facebook page. Speaking of Facebook, uh, check us out on our Facebook, uh, Extreme Pool Challenge. And uh, you can watch some uh, past videos on our YouTube channel, Extreme Pool Challenge. I think we got Tony Crosby's uh, event up there online. It's past one of our Went on the road a couple weeks ago, streamed that one live. We've got plans to uh, do some more of those. Set up for a 3 9 combination. Good shot there. Okay, <coughs> four to one now. Shot at the one ball. Nice shot. Yeah, that was a nice shot. Jimmy's uh, rocking and rolling now. Yeah, now he's got a little problem with his three ball. Mm -hmm. Bump the nine over to the side rail. You can go for that nine again. <laughs> Yeah, that's a possibility. There's a good safe. Looks like he's going to try to kick this one two rails. Came up a little short there. Ball in the hand for Jimmy. Question in the chat room from uh, Q Ball 1950. Uh, where is this being held? We are in Cocoa Beach, Florida. East Coast. The east Coast of Florida. Space, Space Coast. Coast. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody unfamiliar with Cocoa Beach? Yeah. Ron Johns. This safe shop is up the road. Kennedy Space Center. Kennedy Space Center. South of Daytona Beach. Yep, about 70 miles south.
welcome. Any other comments or questions, type them in the chat room. Shots. Gary or I will try to answer them for you. Jimmy came up a little short there on that seven for the seven ball. Now he's uh, he's got a tough shot here. Let's see what he yeah, does. He Let's see what he does here. Bank it inside. We got a oh. little, nice little tap off yeah, the did. nine ball. Of course, Jimmy is a, a very good banker. Yes, he is. Well, both these guys, Anthony and Jimmy, are good one-pocket players. So they, they're good bankers. Well, he went for a safe make there. Wow. That would have been... It was a good play. It was. I would say he had a good speed control mm -hmm. right there. But uh, Anthony <laughs> might make this. Hanging in the pocket there. Yeah. He's going to jump it. There's a nice close-up view of that eight ball. I don't see that on too many streams. That uh, zoomed-in view. Nice shot, but now he's nice got to jump. come with another one. Yeah. It's kind of make a shot here. This is for the money. Yeah, he needs this one right here if he's going to stay in the game. He needs to put this one away. Another uh, question about wh when's the next event from cue ball. Um, not sure exactly. Um, probably with by the 30th. By the 30th? Yeah, <laughs> mainly because we're working around a couple other people's events. We, we try to space ourselves in between. But you can always check out our event calendar on the website. We'll try to keep that updated. And check us out on Facebook. Also, uh, we've got yeah. a lot of postings up there. And wow. like us, like us on Facebook. We're looking for. Uh, uh, Jimmy just was yeah, straight in. I saw that. There. He jumped oh, up on it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Man. I don't get him. Left uh, Anthony kind of a tough shot. So. I think he'll cut that right in the side. Yeah. He's good. He wishes it was over about a foot closer to the side <laughs> Like a hanger. Yeah. Oh, oh see, he did miss that. It's tough. Not yeah. easy. Four and a half inch pockets. Yeah. Uh -huh. Easy to miss them. You gotta do is be off just a little bit, especially when you're trying to uh, put some spin on the cue ball to avoid a scratch yeah. or something. It looks like Jimmy's gonna go five to one. Jimmy Sandler, five to one. Jimmy out of Palm Bay plays out of Pulleys. Anthony McLeano out of Davie, Florida, playing at Pulleys. Uh, Jimmy does have to beat him the next set if he wins this set. Anthony, uh, yeah, Anthony's uh, in the driver's seat. So. Yes. It is double elimination. Race to seven, both sides. Actually, uh, uh, sorry, interrupt you. And, uh, our Extreme uh, Pool Challenge on Facebook, that's spelled with just a, X. an X, no E at the beginning, Extreme Pool Challenge. Search for that. I should uh, bring up the link. Uh, if you're talking about Tony Crosby's uh, event, he's working on one for the 21st of September. If he puts that together, yet, but that would be, I believe, in Ocala. <laughs> we'll probably go stream his uh, next event for him also. And we are a 
available to stream tournaments. Yep, there's some contact information on the homepage of the website, streampoolchallenge.com. Give uh, Gary a call or send him a text message. Or if you're interested in playing in one of the events, uh, contact Gary the same way. Extreme Pool Challenge on Facebook, that is correct. We spelled it without the E at the beginning. And you can just go to our website too, Extreme And there's Pool also Challenge. a link. Com. Yeah, uh -huh. there should be a link to Facebook up there. Yeah. Oh, man, just hung that one up. Jimmy doesn't have a straight shot of the four ball. He's got to go around the five. Yeah. That looks like he can probably hit the side rail. Yes. Make the four. And then get back on the five. Mm -hmm. He did it. Nice shot. That came out nice. Mm -hmm. Good speed control. for hitting the like button on our Facebook page. Appreciate it. This is going to work out pretty good. <coughs> Get down low enough that he mm -hmm. slides. Now just goes to the side rail and yeah. back out just a little bit. Make sure you don't have too much angle on the eight ball, though. Thought he Slid might rattle that one. Yeah, <laughs> Pretty snot. tough, yeah. yeah. He's got to go down to the corner again. Mm -hmm. Thought you wanted to draw back a little. A little more. further, yeah. yeah. He, but it's a manageable shot. Oh yeah. Nothing to it, he says. Anthony says, let's just get this over so we can start the real match. Mm -hmm. Six to one. Race to seven, Jimmy Sandler over Anthony Maglino. Uh, tonight first is uh, 1,400. Uh, Normally it's uh, 1,600. Uh, we did have one player uh, that couldn't make it tonight. Now if he uh, pays up, we'll give that money to the uh, Whoever wins, which would be 1600, is what goes to the winner. trying to do. Get down there further to shoot it in the corner, I guess. I guess so. Get underneath it more. Or yeah, you can play safe now. He went for the 
shot. Yeah, he did. It could cost him. <clears throat> yeah, I think at this stage he's not too concerned. I mean, the odds are not in his favor of winning six in a row. So he probably figures, I'll take my chance. If I can get it, I'll get it. If not, we'll start it over again and race to seven. He got up on that shot. He did not give anything away, though. No, no. Anthony, Anthony can't see the whole three ball. And not enough to make it and get around the table. Well, on the paying up, uh, yeah, well, we kind of feel if they cancel at the last minute, they should. We, we've talked about uh, prepaying um, the event uh, because when you're running just a short field, you want to make sure the guys are going to show up. It, uh, it hurts. Uh, we usually have guys uh, available, but uh, this one just happened to cancel way too late in the game. Wow. That was a nice roll there by Anthony. That was... Uh... Yeah, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's due for something. best thing for Anthony right now is just to try to get loose and make some balls yeah. and uh, get some confidence back for the, I don't know. I mean, it's not unheard of to come back from a 6 one but uh, chances are very slim. Now he just put himself in a bad spot on the line. Yes. So... Might have got away with that. Yeah, he got uh, Jimmy safe there. I don't think he can see. See the eight ball. Jimmy can uh, take a chance on this one and try and kick it in. I mean, he's up six one. I'm sure he's going to hit it. I think it's just important for him to just get some confidence back. And make some balls I'm gonna break as hard as I can because I can't make a ball. Have a better turn on the next, next set, but could happen though. We've seen it happen before. Carl Moxley came back from a giant deficit. Yeah, six one. Yeah, <laughs> that was the best comeback we've had. Uh -huh. But tonight we've had a lot of double hills. Guys yes. came back uh -huh. to double hill. I In mean. fact, I think the last five matches were yeah. 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 some right. really good matches. Very good. Nice to watch. All right. He, he does have a crushing Come break. On. There goes the seven. Oh, baby. He's going to have a one. Nine. Nope. No? <laughs> He's got the one, though. Looking at that nine, maybe. I don't know. He's got a little angle here. Let's see what he does. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Maybe. 
<laughs> he got away with it. Yeah, I figured that's what he was looking at. He probably figures, what the heck, you know. But uh, you got Jimmy a little tied up here, so Jimmy can get a kick on that one, but then he's got to worry about where it goes and the nine sitting in that corner. Well, I guess he can hit it. I don't think he could. I missed it. Nice. Oh. He hit it, but he didn't get any love. He all that path. Let's see what Anthony does here. I'd be surprised to see him try to bank the one ball. Oh, he's going to draw back into the nine. Good shot. Model over 6 3. Only need three more racks to make it a swing. Uh, Dennis Searing uh, already left for the evening. He and his uh, friend drove, drove back south. Yes, but he uh, had a good time. Liked it. He played good. He, said hey, he did. He had a good match coming, there. Coming back. Uh -huh. He says he hasn't been playing much pool competitively since uh, 2001. But, uh, actually, he shot pretty good. Tonight. Yes, he did. First time on the table. Uh, nobody shoots real good the first time up here. Okay, six to three now. I think he's getting pumped up here. <laughs> Maybe he's charge. Maybe nine, nine ball, ball but it doesn't count, count then. Pop back up. Yeah. Oh, get him. He's looking at that two nine saying, Woo, let me add that one ball. Does have a makeable one. That two nine's not uh, that easy. Nice one ball shot. He can cut this up. I'm sure that's what he's going to try and do, don't you? Yeah, Ready? he can. He can make the two straight in. He's going to go for a run out here. Oh, you think? No. I thought he might try to get a quick game again, but he might go for the run out. Let's see what he does. Oh, he was thinking about the nine too much. Well, he's worried about hitting the, the nine ball going into it after making it. Yeah. All right, Jimmy uh, Sandler back at the table. What's he do here, Rick? I don't know. It looks like he's playing safe. <laughs> Gary Patrick show. Yeah, right there. I'd be all over that. <laughs> no, we could try to. It's too rich. Come on, oh, don't sit. Don't sit. Wishing and praying and hoping. <laughs> <laughs> by Jimmy. He's getting into a pretty good position here now. Nice shot. No, 
know, not too many people put packs together on these 10 footers. <coughs> Rob Melrose put together a couple uh, break and runs earlier mm -hmm. today. Yeah. The downstairs table. This one I haven't seen uh, anybody put two together yet. Or not today. Shane played, there were only two break and runs out of 183 games. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Over, over. Here. Yep. yeah. We're going to go to set number two. We're just going to roll right into that one. Okay. No break. Okay, this shot here for the win of the first set. Okay, good shooting there by Jimmy. Seven to three for Anthony Maglino, but this is a true double elimination tournament, so uh, Jimmy needs to beat Anthony twice. So this will be the second set. Uh, Flipman, uh, Earl and Shane did not play here, but uh, Gary was uh, the one, uh, the owner of uh, Extreme Pool Challenge. Uh, he was the one who set up that, that match and the table and stuff like that for that match, between that first match between uh, Earl and Shane. That was uh, on a 10-foot table. So, no, they haven't played here. But Earl was down here uh, a couple of years ago while Gary was uh, putting this all together. A lot of effort into this place. Okay, after the lag, it looks like uh, Jimmy won the opening break. So we'll get started with the second set here.
that shit no more. No more practice. Let's get a play now. Got a shot at the two. time here. I think he took an extension. Yep. No oh, good hit. It's going to leave Anthony a good <coughs> shot at the three ball, though. Mm-hmm. Left himself a little tough here on the eight ball. Cutting the side. He should be able to handle this here. Don't have to worry too much about the cue ball. Just up and, up and down and up again. Good shot there. That was a good shot. Not going to let Jimmy jump out in front of him no. like the last time. No, a little more uh, determined and focused this time. You can tell with his uh, Money's on the line. Yep. Okay, good shooting there by Anthony. Gets on the board first, one nothing, and the race to seven. Hey, we got Glenn McMahon as the referee. Yeah, Glenn's been here all day. Yep. He's done well for us. Dedicated. I'm telling you. That's why I get all them young guys. <laughs> Game number two. Hey, puts 
a lot of power in that yes, brake. Yes, he does. Smacks him. Nothing on the brake, though. Yeah. And, but Jimmy doesn't have a shot at the gun ball. I've noticed a lot of uh, Anthony's brakes. He breaks them hard. They're wide open. Uh huh. And uh, nothing goes, but the incoming player very rarely has a shot either. So. Mm -hmm. But I bet he's brutal on a nine foot table breaking. Yeah, that was a nice shot. Kicked it right in. Made it. Yes, he did. Right in. Mm, yep. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a shot at the two ball. He can see part of it. Doesn't have a clean shot at making it. cheer. Oh. He got it out there. Yeah, he did. It was a little risky. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, Jimmy, we always talk, he just likes to stretch it out. I don't think they had bridges where he uh, learned to play. <laughs> nice shot. Oh, get off the rail. Yeah, it's going to get on the rail. Soft it a little bit. Right an extension. Nice 
Which is a good ship. Jump sticks. Yep. Okay, one one. That was a nice. Uh, that was nice out. Yeah. yeah. Shot nice those well. This is Extreme Pool Challenge. You're watching Fate of the Eight, number six. And I'm Rick Hufflefinger alongside Gary Patrick, and we're hosting the event today. And it's come down to this final match here. Right yeah, now, it's, yeah. it's a race to seven. Current score is one to one. And yeah, that was an uncontrollable sneeze. <laughs> Tried to stop it. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Just, just <laughs> popped right up there. He's probably the top player here in Brevard County, I would say. Missed it going in, but got it coming out. That's why Earl started using the long cues because of the ten footer. Well, he did uh, originally uh, when we were up there at the, when he played Shane. Mm -hmm. He had uh, Mike uh, Galassi, I believe, made that for him. <laughs> that was his secret weapon, <laughs> among other things. <laughs> yep, that he wanted. Wasn't one of the commentators around when Earl started warming up for the ten foot challenges. Uh, Gary was around. He uh, that first uh, ten foot challenge match between Earl and Shane yeah, happened in uh, Young Youngstown, Ohio, and that's uh, Gary uh, put that together. Well, helped uh, help put set that it together. Up. Yeah, that was actually Mike Galassi uh, was instrumental in putting that together. all that trouble. Mm -hmm. Oh. Kind of got up with that yeah, a little bit. Yeah, he didn't bit. hit that one like he won no. out. That's kind of tough here yeah. on the five ball, though. Yeah, he was it's planning on coming up there to shoot it in the side, obviously. I think he's still looking at the side shot. So he can get back to that seven. Nice shot. Yeah, it was. Good speed.
this could go to two. Oh, good shot there by Anthony. Good out. Two to one in a race to seven. One. Different Anthony in this one versus that first match. Yes. A little more fo focused, more determined. Doesn't want to drive home with no money. That's, yeah, nobody <laughs> wants to do that. No cash. Yeah. breaking game number four. Two to one lead over Jimmy Sandler. All right, again, no action and no shot. <laughs> well, Jimmy can make this one ball this time. Yeah, he's got a shot at the ball. Yeah, dry and break for Anthony. Go ahead. Possible two nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was seeing that myself now. Try to do too much with that. He's going to take it from there. That's a long distance combo. Mm -hmm. About a foot and a half between the two and the nine. He's going to go into the lower. Oh, that five ball got in the way. Two ball rattled. In the pocket. Yep. Anthony doesn't have a clear shot at it. It's like he's going to have to jump over the six ball. That two ball is just hanging on the edge <laughs> of that pocket there. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Yeah. Nice shot. That was a nice shot. table. Looks like he's going to have to take a long shot at the five. You know, I think he'll stay about where the four is at. What do you think? Yeah, if he stops it right there, that would be a good shot. Mm -hmm. Don't overcomplicate this shot here if you're going to send it all the way down the table here. Or he really filed there. Yeah. Well. Stop, four. Jimmy's got a shot at the yes, four he ball. Does. Yeah, I thought Anthony might just pocket speed that one and stay there. And another question in the chat room. Is there an entry fee for spectators? No, there is no entry fee. If you want to come down and watch this in person, you are more than welcome to. Got theater seating. Mm-hmm. Got a nice setup down here. Mm 
log in at all the seats and listen to us commentate. Which you may or may <laughs> not want to do. Exactly. Trying to tie this up. Left himself a little back cut here on the eight ball, which I think he is all right here. He hit the bottom rail on the side and come out uh, up table for the nine. Okay, this is to tie up the match. Out there by Jimmy. Two to two now in the race to seven. This is not a converted billiard. It is. Mm -hmm. I thought it was not a, a billiard snooker. table. No, yeah. it's a, a snooker It's a converted table. snooker table. Five by ten snooker table. It's 1945. <laughs> it originally, it was a snooker table converted to a, a pool table by Mark Gregory of Perfect Pockets. You can look him up on the web, Perfect Pockets with a Z dot com. And he did a great job restoring this, these tables. Got two of these that are identical, both 1945, with uh, aluminum polish uh, skirt around the table. They look fantastic in person. Missed. <coughs> yeah, Jimmy going for his jump cue. straight in on the two ball. It has a little way. Yeah, you can go forward and come up for the three. Another good shot. 
shot there. That was a nice shot. Yeah, a little sound like a miscue right there. Came back pretty nice for the yeah. four though. Yeah, he did. Is he going to go for the 5-9? Uh, yeah, I think he's going <laughs> to. How he is right now, he doesn't have a lot of angle to much else. Just draw back. Drew that one back pretty nice right there. Yes, he did. Got in line. Gave him a good chance to make this uh, combination. Okay, nice shot. Nice out there by Anthony. So it is now 3-2. to two. Anthony... Anthony McGlino over Jimmy Sanders. Right, another big break for Anthony, but nothing goes in. And then Jimmy comes to the table with a pretty good layout here. He's got a uh, nice shot on the one ball to get started. Two balls in the bottom corner. Maybe a little trouble getting from the three to the four. Well, after he makes this two. Oh, yeah. yeah, get back to that four. I see what you're saying, yes. They're both playing really good. He'll probably draw this all the way back. Behind wants us to cut down the shot clock down to 13, 15 seconds. <laughs> I think that might be a little too short. But <laughs> most shots they pull off within 10 seconds. I mean, it, it doesn't take them too long. Well, 15 seconds, I guess. But the, the shot clock does intimidate uh, a lot of the players. Uh, it, it'll get players, especially first-time players, oh, yeah. not used to it. They'll, they'll get distracted and not think about the shot clock, and they'll get that foul. Hasn't happened tonight, though, but uh, these players are aware of that. Yeah. It just, uh, most of the guys like it once they get used to it. 
Well, it keeps the play going along. You yeah. know, you don't have somebody oh, sitting there looking at the a shot for two minutes. Yep. It helps with that. Oh, we learned that in that one match, mm -hmm. remember? <laughs> Guy'd take two and a half minutes <laughs> of shot. Mm, can't uh, handle don't that. Hook. Whatever you do, don't hook. Yeah. Anthony made, it, made a good shot on the four ball, but he left himself kind of tough on the five. Yeah. But he does have a hit on it, at least. Again, he's a good one-pocket player. You know, he may bank this. He's up three to two over Jimmy. Jimmy plays out of uh, Pulleys in uh, Palm Bay, Florida. Wow. Good lead. shot there. Yes. He's safe. He's a great one. jump. Hmm. Got to go fairly vertical here. Mm-hmm. Almost yeah, made it. Almost, yes, he did. <laughs> that was a good one. And he left it tough for Anthony. Yeah, he did. Good combo if he can get a hold of the five in the right spot. I don't know. Six ball's kind of in the way there. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Couldn't tell for sure. It's going to just kick into it. Looking at the stats, I ran both games, both sets together. So right now we're looking at uh, Anthony at 73.1 and Jimmy at 80.3. So Anthony is coming back. His first match the set wasn't that strong for him. That was pretty good play there by Anthony. I think uh, Jimmy can see most of the, the five ball on this shot. Still left him tough though. Flip man, I, I see your comment about uh, the video lagging the audio. Not sure uh, if that's something on our end or where the problem is, but uh, Relix is uh, our technical guy at XPC. If maybe he can figure something out for you. Uh, Relics, he, he's doing something in the background, so he's going to reset something. Hopefully that'll clear it up. It's a good hit by Jimmy. So we're in a safety battle here. Mm-hmm.
kiss. Double kiss there. for the corner. He could play safe, but I, I think I'd try to make this one. Hit it pretty oh, smooth. No safe difference. himself, maybe. Behind the seven. Yeah, it's no safe good. himself. A tough break. Yeah, that's a good shot. Nice shot. Yeah, that was awesome pretty shot. nice. Right there, that was Redeemed himself. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was good. Got out of the, the trap he set for himself. Got a good chance to tie this up. Shooting there, good out by Jimmy Sandwood. Okay, it's three to three. In a race to seven. Okay, hey, Jimmy breaking game number seven. Nothing on the break for him. Clear open shot on the one ball for Anthony. And the balls are laying pretty good here. Let's see, uh, yep, tied up. See if he can get out. Outside pocket. Wow. Good thing they're tight. Uh, yeah, normal normal table that would have gone in. <laughs> yeah, the pocket would have been over there further. <laughs> All right. Yeah, please. Working away here.
it's the spread of a normal table pocket size. Uh, I think five inches in the corner is uh, standard and actually five and a half in the side. I'm not positive on that, but I think that's about the average or the, the standard pocket size. I think you can get, uh, get them from the factory a little smaller than that though. Four and a half on a ten foot table is challenging, to say the least. And we wanted to keep the table playable too. Yeah, we've got to see people make balls here. This. <laughs> Almost straight in on the eight ball. Shot to go to four, take the lead. Nice out there by Jimmy. Four to three now. Gonna race to seven. <laughs> Stepping his game up. He wants to go home with this money. That's right. It's crunch time. Mm -hmm. Needs three to win. Anthony needs four. Yeah, still a lot of game left. Wow, two balls, I think. Yeah, yeah, and one of them being the nine ball, which does not count for a win. That'll spot back up. Unless it goes in the top four. Right. They went in the bottom corner, so. Yeah, anybody can do that, right? I <laughs> <laughs> overcut that one. Yeah, you did. Really? Got his shape on the three, though. I didn't want on that side of the ball anyway. Safety. That's going to leave Jimmy a window between the eight and the four. You can see the one. Safety returned by Jimmy. It's going to come out too far. Mm -hmm. Anthony's going to have a shot there. <clears throat> yes, I would say that's a makeable shot for Anthony.
It's looking pretty good. Yeah. might have wanted that for the side, I'm not sure. Got to go to the corner now. Well, you could still go to the side. Slide on down. It was a good play there. Yeah, it was. Seven on the side. Now he's got uh, almost a stop shot here on the eight ball. Still working some issues with the audio. I think Kyle was updating it. Mm -hmm. oh. oh boy. Go in. Oh, there's a jelly roll right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's a happy camper now. Yeah. That's how you do it two o'clock in the morning. More than the jelly roll. Put some jam on that. Wow. Jelly doesn't shake like that. <laughs> Tied it up 4-4. Four, four. Yep. <laughs> wow. Yeah, if you're going to get it, you're going to get on that money ball for sure. Mm -hmm. I surprised he missed that, didn't he? Yeah, he got perfect shape on it. Yeah. yeah. Right on. Oh, I man. think he just lost his focus. But, you know, missing those shots doesn't help your confidence much. I mean, he's happy he won that. He tied up the score. Back of your mind, somehow you're All thinking, right, the bullet. I did actually miss that. Why can't I make a ball break? Oh, big, go in. Nothing oh, on the break again. Be. No. <laughs> I think his percentage of making something on the break is really low. You know, yeah, tonight. tonight it has been. Yeah. In the past, though, he's been. When he crushes the ball, a lot of balls fall in for him, but uh, tonight somehow it's it's a little off. It's a little different. He's got a tremendous break. <coughs> What's a guy to do? Does he go for the nine? I don't know if the two goes in between all that. Looks like looks he's like he's going conflict. for a carom off the two into the nine. Why not send the two down table? Free shot at the nine. Nice shot. Yes, sir. Great shot there. He said, "Hey, if Anthony <coughs> can do it, I can do it." That is. Uh, all right, five for Jimmy Sandler out of Palm Bay over Anthony McLeano and Davey Fred. Race to seven. side. Does have a shot at the two plus a potential nine. Hmm. What do you think? Well, to make the nine, you got to cut the, the two ball pretty thin. It's, uh, yeah. Which is a, it's a decent uh, chance at, at uh, <laughs> making the caramel off Why the two. not? Yeah, why not, huh? Yes. <laughs> If things are going your way, you know. Mm -hmm. 
looks like he's going to draw. He made the six, six ball. Six ball, but yeah, now he doesn't have a shot at the two. No, and the table's pretty open now, too. Mm -hmm. Barely. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to scratch or not. It's going to stay in the pocket. <laughs> Probably going deep shelves. Here for Anthony, he doesn't want to get Jimmy on that hill again. I'll tell you that. Yeah, yeah. he wants to win this one. Yeah, you got to keep your opponent off the hill for sure. open, I think Anthony might fire, but he, he's got to watch because Jimmy can get on the hill. He's got to play safe, but maybe he won't. Cut it for the far right, you think? That's what it looks like he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice shot. It was a nice shot. Good speed nice control. Shot. Great shot there. Just needs to settle down here and get out. Mm -hmm. Close, oh, yeah. Ah, come on. Overhit that one yes. a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to do a little bit of trickery. Trickery. Yeah. Heard that before, right? Trickery, mm -hmm. trickery, donk. Do I have an extension one? Okay, extension. Shirts tucked in with an all ball foul. That's right. All ball foul. You don't want to uh, mess up right now and give your opponent ball in the hand from no, that one. Can get stupid the little mistake having some touch another ball. <sighs> wow. I didn't expect him to miss that. Stretch. Did he, leave? he didn't even get on the seven. Not like he wanted to. No. Jumped at that shot. All right, Jimmy, back at the table. Have a tough time getting on that seven. Yeah, from right here, I yeah. think uh, <clears throat> I want to try to play safe. Yeah, I would think so. What the I mean, he could fire and go around the table, but uh, I don't think that's a no, smart think shot. I see him play safe. Put the five ball on the bottom rail and keep ball up on the top rail. Oh, yeah. He wanted to cut. Yeah, but what was he going to do with the seven? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh. He was playing safe, but he okay. wanted the five. He, he hit the five ball a little too thin. Too thin. thin. Yeah. He wanted to. I got gotcha. you. I was thinking he was trying to cut it for the corner for a minute. Left Anthony impossible make here. He's got a long shot. Yeah, that's a tough but, shot. Uh, it's got to go all over the place, too. Yeah, up and down. Nothing. Don't hit the nine ball. Oh, yeah, ball. if he hits it, that's good for him. Well, it glanced off the nine ball. That, that was good. That worked out well. It's <coughs> a good shot. Yeah, very good shot. Nice get this 5-5 uh, five five here. There. Yep.
Okay, this to tie it up. Okay, score is now five to five in race five to, to seven. Five. It's getting exciting now. Yes, it is. That was a big game for Anthony. Uh -huh. I mean, he yes, it Jimmy was. Up the hill. No, obviously like one of the two of them on the hill. And I'm flying there every single time. Yep. And I love balls. Balls. It wouldn't be so That's bad if I was making balls in the rain. Might as well not have the knife fly there. It's killing me. Like that's been the problem on this table. Nobody's been making them. I know, but the nines are right. there. Let's see every who time. gets on the hill first. Look at that right there. Every ball touches. So if you don't make anything, <laughs> Another crushing break with a yes. make. Uh -huh. He's made that nine ball a few times ball. today. Yeah. Well, at least the nine he also made that ball. That's awesome. Okay, nine ball spots back up. Anthony yeah, is still at the table. He's got uh, yeah, has a nice clear shot at the one ball. Not an Long easy one shot. off the rail. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> I'll give you that one. <laughs> uh -huh. See what you're made out of on these shots. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about this one here. He wants to uh, better take his extension. I think he did. Yeah. Wow! Nice shot. That was man. He bared shot. down and fired that one yes, right in. Yes, he did. That's <laughs> a good shot. That's a big, oh, big shot that's for a him big too, shot. right there. Yes, sir. I'd have been ducking all day long. Yeah, I was thinking maybe, maybe you should play safe there, but uh, he's in great position right here. that three-hour drive home with no money. He said, hey, Jimmy lives close. He's only 30 minutes away. <laughs> uh -huh. Jimmy's not going to give up. Neither one of them are. No. Nope. have a lot of heart. Yeah, they do. Two very good players battling it out here for the money. Jimmy's still going to make a decent shot uh, here on the floor. Uh, I'm going to say Jimmy's going to bear down and get out here. But anyway, it was, uh, he's putting a lot of insight on that shot. He was trying to kill it so he wouldn't yeah. come around the table that much. But, uh, Potential to get to the hill first. Oh, oh, oh. wow, nice little bump yeah, there. Nice bump. Not hurt him at all there. Anthony's. Uh, Kicking his head back there, he knows he's probably going to the hill for Jimmy.
Can't get any better than that. No, nope. straight in on the nine ball. Almost straight in. Jimmy's shooting at 84 percent for these two matches. Anthony at 77. Okay, good shooting there by Jimmy. He moves to six. He's on the hill. On the hill. Anthony is at five. Yeah, Anthony knows he was the one that should have been on the hill there. Uncharacteristic mistake there. Four ball shot. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's cut a little too much of that four ball. Yes, he did. Trying to. I'd like to thank all the people that helped out tonight. Uh, Glenn McMahon, referee right now. Carlos Torres, another referee we had tonight. Uh, of course, Chris on the shot clock. Jeremy and uh, Evie and Bobby Lee downstairs put things together for us. And Gary Patrick. And don't forget yourself. And Rick. me. And the <laughs> most important person is probably <laughs> Kyle on the back operating all the cameras. And yeah, he's working his butt off. Over yeah, there. he is. And we also want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching tonight. We do appreciate it. And the participation in the chat room. That was a good night. A lot of viewers. Mm -hmm. It's going to back cut the one ball up in the top corner pocket. Yeah, this is uh, showtime for him now. He nice knows. shot there. Use the five ball to yep. stop him. Now he's uh, not straight in, but he's got a little angle on the two ball. He's got a nice draw stroke, though. He'll, he'll suck this thing right back. too far. No, he's a clean living, I think. Wow. See, he's all right, isn't he? I think so. Good thing he didn't Half eat breakfast. Half a ball more. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if he ate breakfast, yeah. that might have got snookered behind the six. I'm telling you. Now it is. When it goes good, it goes good. There's gotta, nothing he can do right no, now. No, you're just in the seat watching. Mm -hmm. He's staying down and making balls. Last Crosby event, which was two weeks ago at Cunningham's when we were down there. Mm -hmm. It's looking like he's going to uh, close this thing out.
This next shot's the one that counts. For all the money. Yep. Well, he beat Tony Crosby earlier, and now uh, twice. Uh, if he makes this, he'll have beaten Anthony twice. It's pretty strong. Yes. Oh boy! <laughs> Rattled it. Rattled that he got it. All right, good shooting. Congratulations to Jimmy Sandler for winning uh, Fate of the Eight, number six. I heard somebody time Seven to five over Anthony McLean. This is Extreme Pool Challenge. I want to thank all the people for uh, tuning in and watching tonight. We, we appreciate it. Thanks for the participation in the chat room. And we'll see you soon. And we'll be back with some more pool action for you. This is uh, Rick Heffelfinger and Gary Patrick signing off. Everybody have a good night. Thanks again, everybody. Almost every game.